a full overtime game on Moog, so who knows where this one's going. Just keep folding your paper while we get into the knife round. Oh, the pistol. I mean, we could always just get rushed to cast around later on, you know. Oh. oh hello. Rush, you on the other end, or you you just prank calling us? I I just uh, received a call from the high ups, and I was told I could not do the knife round. Um, apparently, someone from the desk put in a call. I'm not sure who. I wasn't watching, so I don't know if someone said anything. But I don't get to do a knife round oh, now. Man, and I'm very I'm sad. I'm really sorry to hear that, Rush. That's, that's horrible, man. Oh, well, Rock, I've already lost two players, Rush. You want to take the rest of the pistol for us? I uh, can do. I do like Borup's position. Simple though. Is above. But I don't think they're going down. It looks like Flame is sneaking out. It's only Nico here. He doesn't have a lot of... Well, actually, he has a lot of util, so he could rain a HE down. But he's giving up some ground. Gets destroyed at the long range. Perfecto now. Probably going to push up as close as he can. Boomage. I doubt he's going to go down. But it, honestly, it looks like they're saving already. And I can't believe that. That's craziness. How does it make you feel? Uh, Kind of weird. How many emotions would you put on it? I mean, I understand they have a kit and a flash and yep. Kevlar. Mm -hmm. I just go in there. I mean, they, they've just got go the stuff. There? Yeah, they got the stuff. They can, they can get it done. They got, they got the juice. Yeah, they got the juice. They got all the all the kinds of juice, honestly. All right. Well, thanks for like no better than the I rest like of the, the background noise going yeah. on. It feels like there's life in it. You Ambient know? noise. Oh, that's like why I listen to it at night, so I don't feel lonely. We can just record Rush's production room. We can get all the like the pens dropping and yeah, the, yeah. Just, the typing of the away. keyboards. Yeah, it'd be nice. It'd be nice. I don't always use like you know, magical library or okay. you know, mythical forest, but I guess production room. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Someone's <laughs> put me squatting on the little seat in Mirage. <laughs> That's quite good. Okay, That's go on Alex to it right now. I need you guys at home to be able to play along. Well played, Roro. Is it at Machine GG? Machine, machine GG. Egg. Yes, or Machine Egg. <laughs> My car number plate in Australia used to be one egg, and I hated it. Well, you know, you can be GG or you can be Machine Egg. <laughs> I wonder how many people have... Oh, I hate that she's seen that for the first time now. Here she is, boiling the kettle. Force spy now for Heroic. Oh, how thrilling. Let's see how well this goes. <laughs> oh, smokes everywhere, deagles, the scout. Truly the thriller in Manila here. Well, it's a five-man stack towards Yard, so this one might be a no Ooh. contest because I don't think the rotation is going to come in in time. The smoke is good. Heroic are locked out. If the bomb goes down and they're not on the scene, guess what the correct option should be, everybody at home? You get one guess! Oh, baby! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a boring round of Counter-Strike. We're going to try and make it sound as boring as possible uh, because they are going to potentially have some contact. Nico has gone a little close. He wants to try and see if he gets anything for free. Oh, they're biffing and brawling. Wow! Oh. Whoa! Whoa! The crowd goes absolutely wild as Nico gets one single frag. And Flamey does one nice. better. That was lovely. He's just protecting Simple's AK-47, dropping his utility to make sure that that weapon isn't recovered, and he does manage to get it back home. Um, have to admit that the squat on the Mirage <laughs> really throwing the two of you for a loop, hasn't it's it? It's just perfect. It's, it literally looks like Neo's weird cousin from the Matrix. <laughs> what? <laughs> look at Why the... does it look like I'm wearing swimming goggles? I laughed a burp oh, out. Geez. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Please. You guys are going to be I walking just... home this evening, all right? I, I just need Chad to also see this. Chad, go on your phone and have a look. It's brilliant. He's had a look. He's had a look. Okay. I've retweeted it. Oh, good job. <sighs> okay. Oh, good job. Well, it does look like I'm out of some <laughs> <sweating>. swim. <laughs> yeah, I've sweated and burped to laugh out. It's been, it's been weird. Oh, but dear. But we're back into the what action. I'm so sorry for the inappropriate uh, presentation. This is an, obviously a professional product, and uh, we will be fired. So oh, you guys will get your way. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good start from Stan. Unable to convert onto electronic. And Boomich mopping up another. So this one here might be over before it started. Miss Cadian has... Never mind. Oh, no. oh Boomich, have a round. Monsieur Boomich, en français. We quite managed to convert on the USP. But still, 3-0 start to Na'Vi's T side. They're not going to be having the same issues they encountered on their T side start of Nuke, which was, of course, a bit of a force by battle, ending in that 1916 you see in the top right there. But have a look at the highlights. Let's see how these ones came to be. It was the second one I'm interested in. Was it the third? Okay, so the third was the one I was more concerned about. So it was a bit of a Bosch on Acadian right there. <laughs> I'm glad that happened. That couldn't be any better right now. It was through smoke. Anyway, um, doesn't matter. 
<laughs> Cassius is still though. rocking this org, so like curious that. to see. He's really loving this weapon. A bit of a, not meta shift, but a change in a lot of players in the moment. And Boomich, down pop, takes Nico out. Big Boomich opening. Boomich to like prove a point. He's, has he not, I don't think he's died yet. He's seven and zero. Anti-bond. Actually, no, he's got an assist. Damn you. But he's doing incredibly well for himself. Maybe unhappy Ooh. is how Nuke went. But Didn't Stown the gets the chance. Off. Here we go. Boom. That's one. Boomich gone. Finally, the first death for him on the board. They are, however, on the site. But the bomb isn't. That's still towards oh. the hall. So I'm looking to see when that joins. It will be simple with it. Looks like he has made it down for now. I do have a good feeling about Stown's position here. He's quite oh, hidden. Bomb down. He's hit a great shot. Simple tried to cross with that bomb. It's on the catwalk now. Issues for Na'Vi. Terrible round to lose. Terrible round to lose. Stown's coming from behind them. They're not ready for that. Caden caught. Oh, for Flamey. Fixes his issues, but Stown does finish him off. So, 1v3. Perfecto yet to frag. Oh, Tessus knows. Good shots. Ooh. And Stown just going hunting. Heard the scope. Didn't want to turn his back. So curious to know that they opted for double orbs as a priority here against Na'Vi in the first gun round. Let's see if they want to continue to get that up as Stan will have to drop that over towards Katie and potentially unable to afford, didn't completely catch the cash money, but I would say unlikely considering the state of affairs with that win bonus. Na'Vi fans back out at it. The violinist is it. back. Nice. All right, so it will just be the single orb. They couldn't get that secondary orb up to play right here. Over towards the inner side of things, we have Nico having to deal with Flamey. But otherwise, netting the territory they need ease early. Now, they have to worry about team main control. We know that Borup loves to get flashed in. Deep Molotovs, deep smokes. We've seen it before from Heroic. Vecto needs to be on high alert as he's holding this side of the map just on his own. Tickled on up by the Molotov there was Boomage, so Tessus is aware that somebody is close by. This is already... Forced Heroic to play two players. Yeah. So oh dear. Totem drop into the molly. It's not an, uh, a commonly used strategy, Chad, but... No. It's only uh, one player dropping in that we've seen. Not bad. Yeah, but the double. You uh, sent him to the death pit. Sitting on his head. Sitting you on his head. Shall yeah, not move. Leave. He was like that bully kid at the pool that would always just hold you under a little uncomfortably long, you know, when you were wrestling oh, in the pool. Okay, yeah. So George, sorry. I remember you. George. Sounds like a bully. Bore up, He always though. said he'd give me his RuneScape gold, and he never did. Never did, did he? I made all these promises. Simple's oh. got a nice frank, though. Okay, this could this could get fun, at least. Orp's coming to play everywhere. This is just Orp's paradise, apparently, is again, this could be another one. Not to beat. Simple now gets the line, but it plays in Bore up. The last two for the T's. Oh, the territory's not great. They're going to have to really fight for these frags, and Simple's having a bit of a look. Smoke dissipating. Might give him a chance, but it gives Cadian a better one. It's now the 1v4 beckons. He's got no options. Uh, <laughs> Borup, if he goes hunting, would be the frag that he's waiting for, but he's got nine seconds just to try and preserve this orb. He doesn't want to go down after time. Does hit the first. Oh, the push. Oh, Simple gets oh, paid out oh. and loses it. Down to $850. God. And bare knuckles. That's a nasty way to end the round. I'd only be able to grab one pair of Gucci slippers with that amount of money, so... How much do the Gucci slippers? I don't know. I assume that's probably right. That's what all the players buy, right? Yeah, all the players. Of course. That's the little slides. That's yeah, the slides, slippers. but they're all, like, ridiculously priced. Sliding, yeah, okay. Well, Electronic has the Zeus and a good spawn, so down Pop Dog will be the most oh, likely enjoy. use oh, it's for this nice. right here. That's practically a flashbang. But nobody's pushed on forward, so Electronic will just have to tuck on in, and well, that's probably his round done. As Stown takes down Flamey, Nico can see that there's nobody else pushed up towards the box halls, and, while well, this eco is over as quickly as it started. Simple full invested. He only has 150 <sighs> left. For him, next round is not going to be looking pretty whatsoever. What did Simple buy? Let me t he bought a Deagle. Okay, that makes sense. That's a quick way to spend your... Lion's share of eight hundred and fifty dollars. Dollies. 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 Hi, I'd like to exchange fifteen dollies for uh, one Kalashnikov, please. I'm sorry, sir. This is a, this is a weapon <laughs> shop. We take primarily money. Money. Um, money. Gold. Or criminal services. Yeah, if you maybe have like a Rolex, we might use that. Where in my Rolex? Who did that? Was it Wiley? Uh, that's Wiley. yeah, yeah. Wiley. Bit of a wow, guy. that's back about ten years. Prime throwback for you. Casual Rolex sweep. 
Okay. Well, we've tied things up at 3-3. Three, three. Heroic with three of their own on the trot. As it's down straight back into the double op setup. So it's a priority here for Heroic on their CT side of train. If you're going to buy on the Navi side, it means that Simple probably just would be the Deagle armor, and that will be the purchase. Flamey with the Galil, Boomich with the Galil as well, so they can get utility up. If they know the double orbs are out again, or if they have an inkling, they might go for more of a set piece here. Looks just like the default spread, so we're going to have nades over main. Late control. This is the deep Molotov I'm talking about. Burrup will get flashed in here traditionally, but will be held at bay, and Perfecto, well, he's done. Uh. I'm waiting to see the, the rest of this lovely idea. I mean, maybe Boomish is a little further ahead. Yeah, so he does get to catch out Bore up, but this line of defense still holds. Stown's okay, no one through Ivy. This is one dimensional, but they are out. There's no other layers to this. So Tess is just into the smoke. He's through it. Simple. Finding the head casually. I don't know how he makes it look so, so easy every single time. It's flamey oh, now. Oh, go on. If he does the jump, I will scream. He's thinking about it. I can tell. I can feel it. No, he wants Tessus instead, but he is not going to have accounted for the player behind him. And so it is Heroic starting to really pick up steam, if you'll excuse the pun here on train. Four frags already. Oh, so let me try again. Four rounds consecutively. Very hard to have a constant stream of dialogue that is coherent over the course of a long series such as this, especially after already having one prior. I apologize. Good. I want it in writing as well. Have you seen our handwriting? You sure? Now we can type it up. All right, meaning a lot to stand that one right there. Still love that space picture above the bed. One of my favorites. Let's get back underway here as Navi <laughs> rocketing for just the economical once more. Pistols coming out. Deagle for Flamey, Deagle for Perfecto. Boomage is going to try his luck this time round with the Zeus. Simple yet to purchase. Probably wanting to have enough money for the AWP. Electronic will upgrade to the Deagle as well. And here goes Boomage as fast as you like. Can he make it into the Pop Dog? And greet a CT. Nobody's close, so probably not going to have too much luck in this one. <laughs> Tessus might Molotov before diving on in. Lots of nades towards main. Stout's actually taken down a huge chunk of damage over towards that Ivy position, so he's had to drop a smoke and a HE, and they even rotate out of position. They're swapping on over. There's the Zeus. Goes missing, and Tessus takes down Boomich. So this round here needs to have the Deagles do some work. Let's see if any of them do. <clears throat> well, I'm just going to back away. He's got Perfecto. Excuse me, uh, Tessus to help him out. Perfecto on the other side, the one tagged down to 23. There's no real rush on this. Navi just going through the motions. Barely any util left on the CTs. That's nice. Symbol gone. Electronic now. Also to full. I was thinking it must be nice to be a sports commentator sometimes. It's just like, flamey. Yeah. yeah. You know, just literally like... No, I was thinking that. And I was also thinking like, you can, it's really easy to rein it in. Like I could I could sit here and give you the, the bare bones, you know. Sure. Flamey shuts down one, gets another. And then you just, oh, pushing A, not to B. And you just do that for That's 20, it, just 25 like very rounds short straight. Phrases. Yeah, I could, but you know, <clears throat> sometimes... Isn't it less fun for you, though, doing that? Exactly. That, I mean, that's half the reason why my commentary has morphed mm. into this kind of mutant um, collaboration of things, just because I, I, you have to keep it interesting for yourself as well, you know? I've been trying to make my commentary a bit more artsy. Yeah, I've been hearing that. I've been enjoying... Been artsy? I, I mean, he misuses that word, but I've no, I'm no longer triggered by it. Uh, he, he knows... Yeah. I, I'm glad I did. I'm not even picking up on that. What does yeah. he mean by it? Uh, it's, it's Chad's catch-all word for anything that he, that he doesn't constitute as logical, um, but is probably falls under the creativity uh, branch. Yes. Anything, uh, anything is artsy if it involves kind of creativity and unquantifiable... If it's uh, not Counter-Strike, Lauren, it's artsy. Yeah, pretty much. Right. Like clothes, design, pretty fashion, artsy. artsy. Anything. Okay, well, I like, I like. Thank you for the translation. Yeah, no I'm worries. I speak fluent, just, Chad. Oh, that could have been a double if it just the second had lined up there. But Stown does get to live another day, and he does also to keep his HP a little bit higher. So maybe 
less inclined to spend all that util, but he has put it all in place regardless. We are at the oh, one dear. 18 marker. This, this is scary oh. stuff. Perfecto was eventually ironed out. The crease and all off. Gone. Stown. Orbs. Keeping the orbs working. These double orbs are deadly. Stown's just on for a full round here. He's got three. Boom, it's the last victim. Simple, but nothing he can do now. He's just baiting around What's with that? them. Cadian's mantling oh. up. Yeah, he's got a very new uh, pretty orb. I think it's called the Paw. I don't know. I bought it. Not Paw Patrol? I forget. I did buy it. One of Lauren's favorites. You love a bit of Paw Patrol? You don't, I don't know what it was. No, I think it's a children's TV show. I think I was too old. Yeah, no, I know. We'd have to get Nato on the phone to ask about that one. So I'm not sure if Simple's already considering the save or thinks that aggression's going to come through here. Either way, Na'Vi haven't been able to find an opening into the round. Completely shut down by Stan, and he's continuing to push forward for more. Simple in a very, very difficult angle to clear. I'm not sure Stan will be aware of this. He is scoped on in tightly. Imagine if he did get hit. Hit him. Oof, for 50. But with 17 seconds left and the bomb at T spawn, I don't know if we're really expecting much more. Dink exchange again. So both low, both holding on to their weapons. Flamey does well to win the duel Damage. on Borup. Yeah, this is great. The rule of three, but not as relevant when they've got 10k in the bank across the board. It's down. Let's see those frags again. One on the close line as Electronic runs up, pivots to Olaf as Perfecto tries to get some info. And number three was Boomich, just as he. Watch that smoke fade. So Stown, a really good round from him, even taking up Simple as well. The Danes holding the lead, as you would expect, admittedly, here on the CT side of Train, but we are still just 10 rounds in, or nine. This is our 10th. So let's get into the action then. Electronic forced into just attack nine, and hmm, it does seem like there's an air of pace here. A fast pop dog drop. Boomich silently dismounts, oh. and that's a really good sequence. Boomich, the in-game leader, leading by example. That's one way to win around just like that. It's been a while since we saw that kind of flair. Bro can fight for this. They don't have to save with all that money. Make a good point, Chad, but finding ways back in is going to be difficult. The utility could be their avenue. Ah, oh, come on, guys. I feel like I've spent more time in this series. Yeah, what, with them yeah. saving guns. Watching though, people have, save yeah. than I have actually casting play by play. Because uh, the first two kills happened, what, 15 seconds into the round? And now we just sit and we work out if Na'Vi want to throw away cash on a hunt, which they don't because they haven't built up a bank on their own. At least the double orbs get held onto here for Heroic if we're looking for silver linings in that round. And we're always looking for a silver lining. I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna look at that picture again. It always cheers me up. <laughs> I made it the group icon at right. Lauren's request. So I'm so happy. I just love the reply that someone made. Is imagine walking around the corner and seeing that. You know, you got your uh, flash, excuse flash me into beach. <laughs> boof, boof, <and> just... <laughs> Check the corner. I'm squ <laughs> squatting with my swimming goggles on. <laughs> It makes me so happy. Oh Good, I'm glad, Lauren. You've had a bad day. Yeah, um, no, honestly, that brings so me so much joy. Shout out to Roro Chan. Yeah, thank you for your creativity. You guys at home, yeah. I actually really appreciate it. It's fun to feel I've been like getting lots of alone. lovely message of, messages of encouragement yeah. as well. So shout out to you guys for taking the time out of your day to not only uh, watch the show and put up with us, but also <laughs> uh, say nice things to us. That also, as a human being, feels nice, believe it or not. The love language is words of affirmation. Absolutely not mine. Cadian's in oh. trouble! Oh, oh, oh my aye, aye, they're doing it again. Let's go. This is a nice looking Navi. Give me some of this. You've got some of the best players in the world on your squad. They're it saving. Jesus Christ. I swear so to God. That was, so that was 15 seconds of play by play. Plus, I got so excited. Wait, I was going to like segue is, in a bit. Boomich oh. is play by play. So, probably about 20 seconds of actual casting so far. I got a, I got a groan out in the last one when Boomich had the double. And, oh, oh, so, you know, I got yeah, that in there. That's this right. is pure analytical time, right? I could, like, and I could explain to you the reason that they're holding on to the guns so that they Here can have another go. double dip in the next round. The economy's not great on the CT side. Heroic's loss bonus hasn't built up. The 3400 is the max. The weapons are more expensive on the CT side. Uh, Do you like a boot, kids. beatboxing tutorial instead? Oh. Yeah, except let's good. use boots and cats, and then it happens very naturally. Your mouth is making the shapes. You go boots and cats, boots, boots, cats, and it's a good way to get your snare drum and bass drum. Okay. So practice that. Boots and cats at home. Can I do it in the mirror? Uh, you just, you, it, mirrors are optional. Okay. Um, if you're interested in the German word for mirror, which mm -hmm. is it's helpful if you're ordering your eggs because they have Spiegelein. I think I said that wrong, but they call them mirror eggs when okay. they when you flip them over. Okay. Sunny side down. Sunny side Spiegel down. is mirror. All right. Spiegel? Spiegel. I think it's Spiegel. 
Blake Smeagol with a pig. <laughs> oh, no, good, good eye, mate. Uh, give me some scrap. Yeah, I'll have a Spiegel eye. Yeah. I'll have a Spiegel eye in my right. back buffer stuck. Round 12. I know we're going to get a little bit more action in this one. Don't oh, you fret. Here we go. Let's see how much play by play we can have, Chad. Set pace me up. Is out. The pace is out. Smokes okay. towards Five Land and E Box. Utility. It's Boomich. Boomich. He's on the entry fragging duties once again. He's been yeah, Perfecto's out. He's got Bar up. Here we are. Around the smoke, Tessis has a safe haven, but it's potentially sprayed down. And now just three CTs remain. Stown. Can't save. Cadian, they certainly don't have that Too option. Close. There's a lot of fights. Stown towards the backtracks, firing off pot shots, has yet to connect. Two orbs as well. So if that bomb goes down, we might have to call the save. <laughs> <laughs> as they back away. The realization sets in that <laughs> once again we had 30 seconds. <laughs> so add it all together. I reckon I've nearly casted a minute so far. Oh, this is great. Wow. Over now with these three rounds posted in the board, on a row, in the row, in the row, in, in a row. A row. Navi. The loss bonus for that of heroic will now be 2,400. It, it, I, there's no way that I can really take mad. it. But you can see there's a six round spree in the middle of the game that Heroic were posting. We had the opening three, which was the pistol, the force by conversion, and then against the eco of Heroic there on the third. And uh, at least we're getting strings of rounds. It's not the back and forth affair that we've seen in more recent times. That one there being posted on the board, round number 12, is another by bomb explosion. And look, you can see how few kills are needed. That was fantastic to point out there. Electronic only has one frag. Perfecto only has two. Right, they're not needing to find a lot of kills because they're saving round after round after round. There's your highlight package, guys. Yeah, the post game for this one. <laughs> this is a, a uh, this is the, the game fuel like power plays. I'm yeah, about to after this. There's not going to be any highlights. Hey, can we just like have just various saves? That we really <laughs> enjoyed? Vote oh, for which save you enjoyed the most. <laughs> Oh, they're going again. Here we go. This time, Molly's galore. The floor is on fire, but Perfecto extinguishes one. Fight back comes in from Tessus. And there's the peak back through. Flamey and Electronic in combination force the fight. But Stown holds the line this time. Yeah, that's a big frag from Cadian as well. Gives him the numbers advantage, but look at Electronic. He had a chance. He's gone and lost it now. Missed shot from Simple. That's the end of that. And so Heroic will take one, and we actually see a full Five players coming into the next one with cash to splash, but you can see what that's done to the T-side economy. They've still got oodles of cash from their three bomb plants. You want to know something wild here as I'm just having a look at the round timeline. In those three rounds that Navi posted in a row, there was only a total of five kills. Yeah. That's insane. Five kills and three rounds. Navi had everybody survive, so their money's going to be good until the end of the game. The loss bonus for Heroic's in a little bit of limbo right now because they've won that one back, but there's only two rounds left, so it shouldn't be too much to worry about. It's Boomich. Here, Here we go you again. Go. Your one, Alex. Go on. Treat yourself. Oh, thanks. So double molly. Doesn't want to burn too much, and it does spread nicely, but they're coming out onto green train. The trade is there. Stown was pressured. Borrow up frags. You want to go back up again. Simple, trying to suppress and catch Borup off guard. Tessus backing them up. They are just fighting. Like, there is nothing. There is no nuance to this. This is run outside yard and fight. And Heroic have worked it out. I mean, they put four players outside in yard and fought. And this time, as the dust settles, as the frags come in, Electronic and Perfecto continuing to collect deaths like their Pokemon cards. They're having a rough time, but aren't they? Simple, Flamey and Boomich left to their own devices. It's not pretty. Simple has the bomb and six HP. Why did I say six? I guessed. I could have looked. It's seven. I was close. <laughs> Simple's going to get flanked at some point here, and actually a bigger problem than that will be Boomich. Boomich. Knife out. At least the jig's up. Simple knows the push has come on through, but now with only 30 seconds left on the clock, decision time. Flamey's out, and this would be a one on four for the ages. I don't think the ages are quite ready for this one. Yeah. Some say six HP, some say seven, but he's going to need three more if he'd wanted that. So at the moment, Heroic have kind of stemmed the bleed that, as you said, just straight up fight that we kept having has simmered down. If An eight seven T half, though, I would argue yeah. favored that of Navi, hmm. uh, especially considering their CT woes are less frequent than that of their T sides. Um, I am actually, I can't kind of understand. It, it, when I look at the scoreboard, Chad, it's so weird, but that's because of all those saves, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah, it Five just looks so peculiar. 
Look at this. That's that's a six round T side win, and they've barely got more than thirty frags combined. Rush follow flamey. He's got a Krieg. Well, Simple's doing aggressive things. This rush is not going to listen to you. You might be able to now because Simple's ran out of options and HP. Seventy. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Fecto Flash favors him. He does. It must have been a. Was that a team flash or Perfecto's? I don't understand. Could have been Perfecto's own flash. There was a grenade that went off just above the blue train there. On top deep. That's going to push Boomish out. He has to fight. We'll step on forward into the loving embrace of Perfecto there to protect him. And now let's see this bloody Krieg. Oh, yes. That's what we're talking about, Flamey. Cadian doing well to find two in the instance. Now, no, Nico coming in as the inner player. He is going to catch some flame to buy them time for that bomb retrieval. It's on top of the train, I believe. Electronic gets it. Does get off before he can be contested. Now, Nico has a flashbang. He could try the wall bang, but that would kind of give up the jig. Oh, this is all right. If he gets the timing, no, Electronic goes around. It's an 8 7 half. Not too shabby for either side, I'd say. It will all be determined in the final half of play. Oh, ref kicks in, so does the Counter-Strike. Heroic and Na'Vi locked 
Eight to seven, final map, serious business. Casters having way too much fun. We know that's a problem. Let's tie it up, guys. Let's tie it up. Let's have some serious business because it is, oh, of course. Oh, no, it's another online game. Okay, I'm just I was just oh. doing a sassy tweet chat, actually. I'm about to press Oh, okay. Send. All right, hold up. Can I can I uh, take well, over then? All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you're back for the last half of the evening for our series, number two. Heroic. On top over towards Connector to hold them at bay from Burrup, but it's towards Inner they go. Perfecto to receive and in the back lines. He's going to get pushed on further as the retake setup from Na'Vi is already under fire. Boomich on the quick flank. Might be able to take down Tessus here, but they've pushed so far up. Simple will take one. The positions are given on. And the Glocks, they found the right range. Boomich, there's not much he can do. Ooh, Tessus. Oh, gosh. The shots were desperately needed to land. Look at this Nico going straight. I was going to say undetected, but there you go. Position now noted. Electronic going to give away the game, but Borup's right there. No kit on Electronic, so time is of the essence, and Nico going to be drawn in, but mostly to protect and ensure that there's no funny business. Nice work from Heroic to get this one started. Three for Nico then. And we kind of have funny business, Lauren. When Counter Strike's on every single day for nine weeks straight, and we're doing every single game. No, stupid I, cast has ruined the clip. I want. I want stadium quality casting with no level of entertainment. That's what I want. I if want... I don't get it, I'm going to make a Reddit post. No, seriously, my free entertainment was not how I personally want it to be delivered. So The I'm thing is, it's just a vocal minority, and they've upset me because it's been a long day, and I know that we're having fun. I know no, there's dude, a lot of everyone loves it. I'm getting 90% yeah. majority yeah, lovely comments. Don't feel like I'm we're just, fishing for more. I'm just saying. It just upsets me. Like, people it's need okay. to understand. I know they do, but, Chad, they don't have the capacity to understand. <laughs> okay. They're either okay, okay. too young or too dumb. All right, it, I'm, I'm uh, taking a deep breath. Hold up. Or both. And everything is I'm taking a deep breath. Hold up. Here we go. All right, I'm back. We're in the Electronics room. in it. They're getting into the fight. Nice, aggressive CT play. Trying to take matters back into their own hands. Bring those SMGs to a range where they can thrive. And it puts the pressure back on the T side. Castor's yes, gone and done that. A little bit of a tag towards Stown. That's the Galils. These are the big guns that are left now. Yeah, well, Stown's low HP becomes a real problem here. We still have a minute left on the clock for them to work with, but trainers in the map where Heroic can sell the fakes as they did in Overpass. And as they have done on maps like Nuke, and Mirage in the past. A different kettle of fish, this one. The CTs are granted a lot of space within the early stages, and the fact that they took even more with those SMGs means that, well, this might be a Na'Vi round. They're heading towards the inner bomb site. We have two players ready and waiting. Flamey with a scout, and we also have on the bomb train of Perfecto with a Deagle. Stan will just take one bullet to fall. Nico has a good amount of utility, and Cadian with some as well. So it will be the B finish, making no noise down the low ramp. Actually, maybe there was a step or two. Perfecto could have heard this. Oh. Bombs in the site. And they've missed their chance. They're going to get the bomb down, and Stown's even found one. Yeah, Nico should be able to keep this one under lock and key now. No issues to arise. It is a position from Simple where oof, could have caught them off guard, but Nico's wow. reaction speed was very high. So Heroic 10, Na'Vi 7, starting this T side as they mean to go on. Looking at the money for CTs does mean that we are going to be once again stomaching that third round. And we'll see how Nico plucked Simple. Ooh, clean as you like. Aww. Couldn't get better than that. We'll let you know, chat has been very nice to every one of you. They thoroughly enjoy your content. Yeah, baby. I told you, That's the majority are nice. I mean, I think it's just, as said, people understand that we're in a scenario where it's a lot of content. So if everything's treated as, you know, the hypest moments, all of this, blah, 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 then nothing is. There is no true apex. There's no true zenith to what's actually Ooh, exciting. Like that that is right. exciting. We like a bit of that. We like a bit of simple on the deagle. But we have to see more to get truly excited in the concept that this could then convert to a round win. Who's waiting over towards Ivy? It will be Flamey. He only has that USP, so not a lot he can do. And it looks like this one will be mopped up again from Heroic. You know what I thought was really... Oh. There we go. You know what I thought was really cool? We had um, Apoc Dud from Chiefs doing one of those pro tips that we've had the pro players doing yeah, yeah, recently. Yeah. Oh, I remember seeing that. And um, I really miss, obviously, the way that my people speak. And he, we, we call it vines in Australia, not ivy. It's just the little differences, like these tiny little nuance differences. He's pushing like vines, that. mate. Yeah. Vines, yeah, he's on vines. Diggity, diggity. Exactly. Vines. <laughs> I thought it was really cool to kind of hear that. It takes me back uh, to my youth. So that's cool, man. Still using the names we were using 15 years ago. I'm glad we're not using the names we were using in Call of Duty 15 years ago because my goodness, I'll tell you now, video gamers were much more loose-lipped. Gross.
Kadian, not so gross. He's got himself a Galil and, of course, had the option to upgrade into that T-side orb, but he's happy, happy to uh, nurture the bank account. So it we're heading into our 19th, and it is time for Simple's CT-sided orb to make an appearance. Whether or not it'll see too much action remains to be seen. A fast smoke towards the Ivy side of things does enable... I want to learn that smoke. A fast one. He threw that practically off spawn. Mm. Teach you two after work. Thank you. It was adorable. Right, Perfecto's taken a lot of pressure early, meaning he's had to dump that Molotov, and now he's left with nothing. That's forced the rotation over of Flamey, so now it's a 2-3 defense, but it will be the inner hit. They need to step up big here. Multiple frags needed from Perfecto and Flamey as the duo. No ease to this. A tough one at all costs. Flamey choosing to post up on the close train. Flashes Molly's all coming in. He's forced out of position. One side ain't covered. Perfecto knows he's in danger. Does well to find Stounders. Better on four. Up the third is excellent. Ooh, boy. Suddenly it's all simmered down. Cadian. It's all gone to pieces. I would love to see a spark of, of speed to his play, but he's still so paranoid of the potential for pop pushes. He's right to do so. Electronic's tucking himself into the most unpredictable angle he can find so that if there is a return from main, Electronic is there to deal with it. So with 48 seconds, as he does maneuver silently through, you can see that Electronic is denying a lot of this information. And by being here on a line this tight, Cadian, even with his knife out, is up for a fright. And <laughs> ooh, not even a fight. Electronic's not participating. Just a warning shot to the dome. Cadian's forehead inverted. <laughs> I remember being very proud that I when I learned convex and concave. Mm. Remember that one? That yes, was a I lesson do. in science. Convex is convex. You know this. Just think about the cave one. The cave is the other way. The cave is in Going internal, in. and convex, is, convex out. is out. So, I have a scar over my uh, right eye. How'd you get it? Well, on the doors in my parents' house, which yep. they still own. Uh, they're concaved, they're doorknobs. Okay. And I was a, a dumb little kid, and I was on the swing set outside of the chain swing set. Yeah. And you know how you spin them up the whole way? Oh, yeah, and you... Well, yeah, so I've unspun, and I've gone inside to find my dad, probably to tell him some dumb story. Yeah. And uh, I was perfect height, smashed my face oh, into yeah. the to the doorknob, and now I have a scar there, and I had blood all running over my eyes and stuff, and I had to As, get stitches. Uh, very nice. As a child, I uh, was stupid and thought, why does God make us blink so fast? So I decided to blink really slowly, walked into a lamppost and cut myself under my arm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Really smart there. Really loved that, but we're back underway. Galil's out for the tea, so of course the money's a little less than ideal. Hayden has the orb, though. He had a lot of money left over, was able to drop his saved weapon, and now he can duel against Simple if the need be. Um. And well, just a blind shot onto Flamey. He flashed through the smoke, holding a line, had absolutely no idea. And that's a fantastic freebie for Heroic. Is that the one I'm learning, Chad? That's the one you're learning. Okay, what's he putting his back to? Uh, I've, it, oh, yeah, it's a part on the me. train, yeah. Okay. So. Sending. We saw Na'Vi attempt this. It was rather hilarious. Now they drop into the smoke and Boomich collects a freebie. He was so ready for that. Heroic's different approach of just diverting and both jumping off the ladder at the same time to peek from two different angles. It, it does seem more favorable than the alternative, but Stown, look at this positioning. He's, has he been spotted? He didn't. Oh, simple. He suspects. And he's not gonna know. No, Stown gets caught. Quick scope from Simple. The flank gone. Bomb was supposed to be joining them, but Simple's caught them off guard. I can't believe Stown went for the ladder there. Nothing to get them across, and Simple's gonna get more. How many more? That's the question. Another. Hello, whack-a-mole. Uh, doesn't make the Perfecto with a nice control of his laser beam. Ooh, and they're picking up the secondary op too. So that let's, one should go across to Flamey. Let's pitch the worst weapon idea for Counter-Strike. Uh, well, they already did that with the revolver. I think the lightning gun. So they... So <laughs> I, when, Just straight up lightning yeah. gun comes out? Like from uh, Quake? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Like you, you, your ammo uh, spawns around the map. So you have to find it, obviously. Yeah, of course. So you have to do specific rushes with your LG. So there was Valve legitimately, and now this is the same time as they were telling Riot me about the shield. revolver. Riot shield. No, 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 no. Oh. It was the, uh, they, they pitched a tether gun to me, right? And this is back when I was a player and they used to talk to me. Now they avoid me at events. Um, but back then they, they talked about a tether gun. And I've spoken about this before, and the idea was they were using Inferno as an example, and you're a T, let's say you were running into the site, and there was a player, and you could tether him, so he couldn't shoot you, okay. but a teammate would have to come in and finish him off, and I was like, that is the nice. dumbest no, idea I ever. love that. Put and it the, in. Valve, please. I think we need a blunderbuss. One shot, one kill to the oh. body. Rocket launcher? Yeah, it's like well, a taser, thinking, but long range. Panzer, or maybe a <laughs> rifle grenade. Waters. So you just put your grenades in there, boom, and away you go. That could have been a two-foot. 
where we had that. Wasn't a day of defeat? Tess is my plan here. Like, legit. Legit Tess has got a plan. With a full eco. Not bad. They do oh, draw nice. the fire. He used the top access point. So that's a nice little extra 800 doolery doos. Nice. Yeah, I, I think rifle grenade things. That's your enemy territory. Yeah, because it was like a grand or a car, but you could then put like a, a grenade on the top of it and boom, ping it around the map a bit. That's a good one. I don't think I can. I don't think I can retweet that one. <laughs> no, uh, you can't. Why are they not talking about the game with that picture? That's <laughs> hilarious. They made a, a a bicycle out of his brain. <laughs> I, I thought I had an idea as well. If people don't want to listen to us, so they could just mute the stream. It's in, it's insane. There is an option, and yet they're not quite smart enough to find it. That's all right. Maybe now that I've Here pointed it out, it's in the bottom right, guys. You shouldn't be too hard to find. It looks like a speaker. Anyway, away we go. Double ops back out. Round twenty two. Bow up. This one here is towards main. We've highlighted this a few times. It extinguishes that Molotov straight away. Oh, okay. The Molotov was much deeper. So Barup isn't able to take the room he was looking for. It's a default spread right now. Two towards Ivy, two towards the box halls. Navi have actually fanned forward. They have pushed up in towards Pop Boomich. And that run boost was nice, but nobody was home to receive. I like the idea, though. So back towards inner, we still have that 2-3 split. Oh, okay, Tessa straight into pop, and Boomich gets the better of him. I'm not sure even that flash was deep enough. Looked like there with the line from the X-ray that it didn't land exactly where they wanted it to. Question you have to ask yourself often. You're absolutely right, Chad. Let's chest out those flashes, head over to refrag. Cadian boosted over. If Electronic gets a little more passive. It seems highly unlikely considering where he's currently positioned. So we can report on back on that later, but Stown's up to his usual tricks, his usual hijinks. He's managed to sneak out backtracks again. Flame is cognizant that there is a gap. And so that's his responsibility, so albeit much. passively. And Heroic actually starting a position for an inner hit. I'm actually kind of convinced if Nico was to walk out and, oh, I see. So Stown wants to get across. Currently being held by Flamey, it will come down to timing. Ah, well, he's been spotted, but he gets the frag, so that's going to sell it. Simple and Perfecto have done great work. Nico catches Perfecto. That should have been Nico surviving, but now it's on to Simple. One-on-one -on -one for now. Boomich is on his way. Stown mantling on the train, trying to find the angle, but Simple holds them back. Na'Vi back in the game. Triple kill from him. Perfecto takes one. The inner hit falls flat. I wish I knew enough. I, you know, I might have to learn about music so I can make more references to the musical world. You know, like falling flat, and then I'd be like, like a be flat. Okay, maybe oh, okay. I don't, I I don't know where you're going music. with that. Yeah, no, maybe. Um, really maybe we could just cheat and just look up the terms. We could. Okay, could so not. 11 a 11. Gas mask on there. <laughs> I love how creative people have gotten there. It will just be the pistols coming out here from Heroic with utility behind it. They do get the 3,400 loss bonus in the next round, which means they will have a full buy. Can get the orb back in the hands of Katie and if they require. Totem drop coming in towards Pop. Nobody home this time to receive, and forward they go. Might be a bit of acceleration on this. Simple. Dinked up. Got to be a bit more cautious. Ooh, here come those dangerous. pistols. Simple doesn't love this one. A little scary when you got an AWP and you got the swarm of Zerglings just heading towards you, but they have got themselves a little M4, a little treat for all their troubles, but that bomb is still posted up with Nico, so he's not moving anywhere. We've got Kadeon on a wild trip around the map. Oh, Nico's crosshair just was not up to snuff. Down. Oh, the spray, it's a little too wild for my liking. Kadeon only has a P250, no armor, so Stown is it's really hinging on him. And that's the end of him. So, uh, but the bomb loose towards that green train. Cadian has been caught by Flamey. And the 12th now strung together for Na'Vi. That's five in a row of this second half. It's final map of this series. Trimble overpass. Gosh, was that this series? <laughs> Do you remember when we had when we had it bit? Come in? Bit <laughs> yeah. was in the server. It, we've had a we've had an interesting series, haven't we? Gosh, guys, How our long day has, has been. Once once production was like uh, electronic will not be returning. We will be having bit coming in. I'm like, D -d 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 who's bit? All right, uh, Navi uh, Junior, uh, highest rated player. Yeah, D -d 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 and thought we had a storyline. I was going to get excited for it. Like three rounds of it. Yeah, sell the young gun, and <laughs> well, electronic came back, and now we're on the third map. Boomich in pop did it on the T side, doing it on the CT side as well, and Stown's a big scalp to take here. Flames laden over towards main. Burrup doesn't have a smoke grenade to extinguish if required. An electronic harassing up towards the Olaf position. They have lost Ivy again. And they're on high alert. Simple watching the backtracks from the bomb train. 
It's down's flank in the previous is being remembered, even though he has been taken out of the picture. Not much Any utility drivers left. going past, hitting their horns. I imagine it's one of the ones, the cool ones you pull down. I hope so. No, none of that nonsense with a beep, beep. button. It's a proper gas operated. Oh dear, flamey. Spot of the barrel takes a shot. His position's given up now. Yeah, but that smoke enables him to at least have a safe getaway should he desire. Cadian's got something cooking up in the smoke department. Or not. But they're backing off towards Ivy. It's how we haven't seen a late Ivy push in some time, and there is a huge gap. There has been a gap that previously Stown has been exploiting. Maybe he's communicated that, saying, I've been getting out mid-round from that Ivy position. If they contact this, if they walk on out, it's going to be a fantastic opportunity. But yes, 20 seconds. Lauren, you're right to be shouting about the clock. Draw the rotation. Simple's going. Oh, that could be big. I wonder how much they have to work 15 with. 15 seconds. seconds. And oh, and they time. get the frag. Both of them, in fact, Lauren. It is all onto Electronic, and he's gone too. Simple has to save the day. He has got one, but Tessus has the bomb. Surely he can plant. Oh, Simple can stop him, but no. Retard, it's perfecto. Retard. There is no time. He just oh, has to survive. Please. He's dancing on the train. It's 13. Simple gets the necessary shot. Perfecto too. And just about keeps hold of his rifle as well. Well, that Ooh. is a chaotic round that Na'Vi thrive within. It's their chaos. They manufactured it themselves. And Heroic, by running that clock down so low, I thought those frags from Borup. Let's see them again from his POV. Getting two. Simple finds one. Now, nine seconds. Who knocks him off the bomb? It's Perfecto that catches E-Box. I think it's the Hetas has had to deal with them, right? So he couldn't just get that bomb down. I didn't quite catch it, but yeah, sure. Mm. Was it, it was just... Chaotic Counter-Strike out there towards the bomb train with the late uh, rounds. Uh, uh. This is ballsy. He's oh, ahead of damn. the molly. He's ahead of everything. And Tessus has opened up the other side of the map as well. Okay, so Stown's coming oh, in around. No. Desperately trying to do something. The smoke from Simple enables the cross. Just pure yeah. chaos this round, isn't it? The bomb train. Had. What is going on? Right, bomb plant. Calm it down. 2v3. Tessus is so low. Element of surprise is his biggest weapon. And the flashbacks are two. He gets both of them. Magnificent from Heroic. Now Boomich, he knows there's a player through Whoa. the smoke, but Tessus actually gets all three of them. That was huge. Really big play from him. 4K in total as he opened up the site on that low ramp frag as well. And now look what happened to Na'Vi just after the highest highs of the round prior. They come in with absolutely nothing. Paper clips, a weird old highlighter, a bit of lint. A train ticket. It's not enough for a buy. And that's the gray screen. When I'm talking about gray screen, that's what I'm talking about. Your whole body's sticking out, but your goggles are in the smoke. It's a nasty way to go in Counter-Strike and really punishes people trying to uh, disrespect that smoke wall. Rubich has got himself the Zeus again. He's been really loving this, this series. We've seen him wield it a couple of times with moderate success, but simple with the AWP. Well, let's see what this man has to offer. Flashed away, re-picks, grabs one, another one close. Down to deal with. And he knows it. So what's his approach? Edging slightly. Sound cues enable him to regain control. Smoke from Stown. Wants to find Flamey, but picking up that orb is a threat. Flamey, Kaya, can't move a muscle. And Stown knows it, trying to hit a very hard shot. This should still be Heroic's round. Remember, Simple's the only weapon that has any potency here, but he's still hitting some shots. Finally knocked off his perch. It's a two on three. It's a two on one, three on one. And he hasn't really got any bullets left. Five in the clip. Tessus brings his health to null. So 13 to 13, we will see almost all the rounds of play here. Heroic stringing together two consecutive rounds. The CT's still Ooh. in a weird one, Chadney. What's the conversation here? This will just be a half buy. I think that they could potentially just get some Deagles, some CZs, if you've seen simple purchase on in here, and try and do something a little bit more team-based early because Heroic are seeming quite direct in their approach in the last couple. The Zeus for Boomich again, so maybe not. He really wants to get that working. It is a cheeky and uh, definitely terrible way to go down if you are on the receiving end of the Zeus. Into pop, he's close, needs to pull it out. He gets the kill and Katie <laughs> goes down. He had the AWP, he had all the goodies. Let's see oh. if this one gets more dangerous. Burrup, he might not check. He hasn't. Oh, sneaky, sneaky electronic behind bore up, but... Well, he's communicated this. Flamey. He called it. <laughs> he, gets it, he, gets it he gets it. He's still alive. He's still kicking. There's a, There's a world where Electronic could do some more damage here, but it's I don't so know. Many angles. 
Okay, he's been given a little bit of room to maneuver now, but it's because it's, they're searching for his teammate. Now it gets even more awkward. They can pivot. Looks like the bomb in the hands of Tess. This is going towards Innards, down through the back tracks. Electronics options becoming fast limited. There it goes. Planting safe on that right hand side as well. So, 14. Let's assume that this is going to be heroics. Electronic with no armor, no kit, likely not interested in this one. Now tell me a bedtime story, Alex. This is the story all about how your life got flipped, turned upside down. I'd like to take a minute, just sitting right there, to tell you how I came the prince of a town called uh, Bel Air. Mm. Heard that one. And um, in West Philadelphia. <laughs> Were you born and raised? Oh, you know this one. No, no, no. I just thought that that'd be the natural progression of the story. No, in West Philadelphia, there was a large influx in crime. And uh, of course, following on from that, I had to relocate to an alternative oh, location. I see. A um, couple of guys. <laughs> <laughs> they were up to absolutely no good. Oh, no. Uh, but we are ready for another round of Counter-Strike. Isn't that exciting, children? Yeah, for all you Zoomers out there, that's uh, the fresh... Prince of Bel Air. Um, Did you see you can get it on Airbnb now? On Airbnb? Yeah. The what? Fresh Prince Bel Air mansion is on Airbnb. Really? <laughs> yeah. What? You can, right. you can rent that one out. Oh, I don't think Let's we'll be going go. to the States anytime soon, but yeah. no. Yeah. There's a few flags there. Just a few. All right. Well, the guns are out finally for Navi. Simple has his AWP. Couple of kits in play. Utility is looking good. And up close and personal towards Pop will be Boomich again. Pressure applied. If Simple swings, Kadian's up forward at the server. He's creeping. He might even... Oh, I thought he might push that smoke. Thinks better of it. Doesn't want to give away an opening pick in round 28. This is a crucial round of play. Make no mistake. The CT is limited in util. No incendiaries to keep the wolf from the door. Nico's lining up a very easy smoke, I'm sure. No, it's a wall bang even towards that bomb train. Hoping to knock Simple off his perch. But at this moment in time... The T's are trying to find space on Flamey's location. You can see as the utils deployed, he kind of has to. It's no other option, but that denial of info has actually sent Cadian back towards the main position. Four CTs floating around the outer yard area, and the last of their util has been deployed. So now there's a lovely 45 minute, let me try again, 45 second window where Heroic will be able to do anything they so desire. No flames at their feet, just bullets to avoid. And they've got just the one smoke grenade of their own. I imagine Stown's going to be deploying that. Oh, he's actually doing it again, Ivy. They really want to sell this, and it's working. Perfecto will be isolated as they hit this inner site. Stown. Look to the left, shot to the right. Perfecto, though, is alone. Did well before. Oh. Oh, again, these shots are so crisp. Sees another, still staying alive, still getting info, still doing damage. Bomb being loose is going to have to be picked up and recovered. And it looks like Cadian's on covering duty, but his buddy's been killed. So it's all on him. Cadian, no time at all, but he's got players pushing him down. Likely going to kill him. I was going to say after time, but not going to rush this one. Simple, just going to get it done. 14 to 14. And yeah, don't have to get too creative. It would have put Cadian on, still on 6.6, .6, so not as ish, much of an issue. Yeah, and they have to take a timeout here just to discuss their options. So. There's a few questions in the heroic camp right here at 14-14. Do we invest what we have? Do we see if we can pull something out? We always were speaking about heroic having an answer when there wasn't a lot of money to work with. Or do they just go for a partial investment here, maybe pick up a light buy, get two opportunities to go all in, or at least a half and then an all in. Or will Na'Vi get gifted 15 because of an eco or a lower buy? There's enough money for Tessa, Stown, and Cadian to get everything they desire, and Galil's can come on out. Okay, so Borob's actually gone for the AK Kevlar. That's a very important note, because on the other side of the board, Perfecto, Boomich, they have the M4A4s. I see what you're saying, yeah. So he has... Uh, he's hoping that he's not going to be heading into any uh, headshot angles. Uh, M4, one-shot kill without the supplied helmet. All right, so smoke's over again, potential misdirection. Tessus was a hero in one of the previous rounds. Bow up, down, pop. It was against the AK, so the Kevlar didn't matter whatsoever. No, but Nico jumping into Electronics' jaws has really given them quite the leg up, and this is no fun. If you made a call off the T, the T start, losing two players in the first 20 seconds puts Caden on notice. He really wants to try and find the re-peak, and Boomage can't believe his luck catching the AWP slipping. And Stown jumping into the flames oh. like a lemming. Electronic finding his triple. Tessus really is just scratching his head, having a sip from his have a nice day water beaker. 
I want to buy one. You can't have one. It's his brand Rogue. now. No, we're building Get a brand for Tessus. Have a nice day merch on its way. He looks so happy too. And that's he's gonna cool. have an. He's gonna have a bind. He's gonna spam it every time yep. he gets a kill. Have a nice yep. day. He'll yep. do it to simple, just to really get under that ah, skin. Nice, I like that. Ah, <sighs> well, OT or bust, I guess. I think it might be bust, and the reason I feel that is twenty four hundred is the loss bonus going into the next round. If Tessus cannot hold onto this or do any damage, the Navi are gonna have a very full fledged buy. Flamey losing the AWP. That's one step in the right direction, as you can see. Navi, their cash is not flush by any means. They will be getting the round win, but if they lose that magic number of three, getting a full bite will not be easy. So Tessus trying to hide in plain sight. 25 seconds left. Standing on through. They definitely know where he is now. The clamp, the vice, it's all coming on through for Tessus here. 15 seconds. It would be terrible if he died after the time. He needs to consider that as an option as he pushes forward and he eventually gets taken out. So as you can see there, 2400, that's the best they can muster. We're talking about MAC-10s or Tech-9s, just pistols with armor and utility behind it here for the final round of play. Heroic, they're in a very, very unfavorable position going into the last round. Electronic practically won them this map. I mean, yeah. that was the round he had to convert. Yeah, Tessus knows what's coming. This is brutal. The last round of regulation, folks, and you don't want to be the first body to drop. This is Deagles. This is against a fully bought up Na'Vi. And after so many hours of Counter-Strike, poor Heroic have to defend their honor, defend all of that hard work with sidearms and a smattering of nades. It's not fun. It's not impossible, but it is far from ideal. In Stranger Games being played between these two already. The moments have certainly crept in, but creating those right now is going to be tough. Ivy was a big gap in the past with RV, but look how many players attending with this position right now. Yeah, but the bomb is so... like This is one of the, the risks of heroic style of play. If you don't successfully sell this if you don't make it look like it's something more than it is i mean they've got utah i imagine it'll be deployed towards inner and they're hoping to wrap in towards a rotating ct on a i mean with the bomb there i can't think of another alternative plan unless somehow they end up backtracked with the bomb so this is the inner util hoping to pull some ct util out of them Incendiary, 40 seconds. I'm getting nervous here, Lauren. I don't know what their plans are. I don't think they... Oh, I hope they've got a better idea than we do, but it looks like those plans might falter unless something great comes from this, I guess, fake piece they're trying to sell to be. It's pulling some attention. Oh, uh -oh. No, the bomb has to hide. There it is. It's, this is, this is going to come down to... Oh, that's it. Over. That's it. Yeah, Electronic has single-handedly won on this round as well. Two of them. And poor old Borup, Cadian, just no longer... Shadows of the former selves, Tech Nines. It's 16 to 14. Navi with the must win series. Boomage just exhausted.